Hello, my name is Dave, and welcome back to my shop. I don't have a whole lot of work to do tonight. This should be a quick and easy fix, <clears throat> said the machinist, right? Or half-assed machinist. At any rate, uh, this is a, a floor lamp that, as you can see, uh, came apart. It is supposed to sit here like this, okay, and then this uh, this nut and washer assembly. I don't know if you can see that. It's supposed to go on here and hold it down. Well, it's made with some cheap. <clears throat> I can't even say concrete. I don't know what you would call the material. But it's an Ikea, and it's not worth a heck of a lot. But I got some free time, and I thought I'd fix it. So I don't have a tap to match this metric here. This is a, a 1.25 uh, pitch, and I, all I have uh, is like a 1.75. So my plan is to take this little plate here which I've already found the center on and, and did a, uh, uh, a start drill on it. All right, now what I'm going to do is drill this out oversized so it slips down over top of this threaded portion. Then I'll drop that on there, tighten the nut down, hand tight, put a tack weld on it, then weld it all the way around or whatever it takes to keep it on there, flip it over, and screw it down that way. That way I'll have clearance. Um, I already know that, that this, this, little, this little plate of mine is going to clear the floor. So uh, I don't have a problem in that respect. So like I said, I'll take this over to the milling machine, center it back up, drill it out, and then I'll be back over here to throw it on and throw a weld on it. You've all seen milling machine work. And all I'm going to be doing actually is drilling a hole in this, so there's no reason to set the camera up over there. I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, I'm back. I drilled a hole in it, set it down over the tube, put the nut on there. It doesn't need to be real tight at this point. I'm using uh, an AHP Alpha TIG 200. Uh, and I'm just going to throw a couple tack welds on here. Somebody's going to tell you that uh, I don't have my jacket on. You're right, I don't. It's too hot down here and muggy in this shop, even though it's October. Uh, and I'm only going to be uh, only going to be putting a couple of tack welds around this thing. I should be okay. You get a pair of gloves on. Okay. I took the cheaters out of here. I had a magnifier in here and I took it out when that uh, eclipse went, when oh, that lunar eclipse. All right, let's see. Okay. 
one. That's two. I think one more ought to do it. Okay. Let me just uh, see about cooling this down. Like I said earlier, there's not much to this repair. It's just uh, Just a quick and dirty job. The whole lamp isn't worth very much. But it's just something, give me something to do. Uh oh. All right, I gotta, I gotta get a pair of pliers. This is, uh, this is unscrewing the post. All right, I'll be right back. Go in here and throw some water on this thing. That'll be good enough. Okay. Let me go over and get some. Get some lock tight.
what this looks like. Plenty of clearance. Plenty of clearance. We'll put some Loctite on this upper half. There's some more of this stuff coming off. What a cheap ass. Tell you the truth, I don't know if this is even going to hold together. Look at this. This is, this is this cheap junk. <clears throat> All right, well, it is what it is. That'll be it, you know, except for the cleanup. I know it wasn't much of a video. Didn't entail a lot of work, but I just thought I'd throw it in there. Thank you for joining me. Have a good day, a good day or evening. Subscribe if you will, and give me a thumbs up if you care to. And I'll see you next time.